Snack Pack for Kids is a program designed to make sure students have food over the weekend. If our kids are hungry, they can't learn. When I took my blindfold off and my wife, we both took our blindfold off, um, we recognized there was a lot of hunger, uh, specifically hunger on the weekend, and what could we do to solve that problem in our community. And that's how Snack Pack for Kids got started. Most of these kids, when they leave on Friday from school, you know, the lunch at the cafeteria is their last meal until Monday morning at school. That's one of the big reasons that we got involved with this organization. My heart is for children and my heart is for our community. When you look in our bag, we have cereal, we have Gatorade, we have crackers, we have peanut butter, we have a lot of different things, but we also have dairy and we have beef protein. And I think one of the things that we pride ourselves on is that our kids get 74 grams of protein every weekend and only 52 grams of sugar. And so we give them nothing but brand new brand name items. And a lot of that is because of our partnership with agriculture. Dignity and respect are priceless. You can't tell the youth of your community and the students in your community that they're important, they're our future and that they matter, and then give them leftovers. If a kid doesn't have adequate protein in the diet, they're, they're not going to develop and ultimately not going to be able to learn how they need to. From our farm here at Legacy Farms, we provide milk for the snack packs. Fair Life milk goes into those snack packs. So it really feels really awesome that our cows, these ladies, have part in producing milk for those packs. Another protein offering that we have for our kids is the brisket chuck roast beef stick that we make and that we develop. The dairies and the feed yards in this region have partnered together with Dyron's leadership and created a, a program where we donate cows to ultimately end up in the beef stick. We grow and produce the live animal and that live animal is sold to the packers and we have a great partner in Cavernous Beet Packers. They take that live animal and they harvest the chuck roast and brisket that is then sold to Clinton Sons and they process that beef and turn it into the beef stick. It was natural for the ag community to really rally around this because we all produce food, we all realize that there's a need in our own community, and we said we've got to do something about it, we've got to take care of these kids. We deliver it to the schools, my family does, and just watching those kids, when we're bringing the snack packs in on the totes, see some kids light up because they know that they're going to have food on the weekends. In the Panhandle, South Plains, we serve 12,000 kids directly with the Snack Pack for Kids program. With the rest of the state, there's another 8,000 kids that have access to our buying cooperative. This is not a feeding program. This is an education barrier removing program. Kids can't learn if they're hungry, but they can change the world when they're full. It's easy to rally around the main thing. It's not snack pack. It's our kids.